Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 28 with me Craig Barton. Now the way students are introduced to algebra when they enter high school is something that I'm incredibly passionate about because I don't know if you find this but a lot of my students arrive in September of year 7 already telling me that they hate algebra or they can't do it or their brother says it's a load of rubbish and it does my head in because algebra is an absolutely brilliant subject and it's going to be probably the, the most important thing they study in mathematics for the next five years or seven years or ten years if they go on to do mathematics at university. So it has to be introduced in the right way. And I feel that too many schemes of work or textbooks plough straight in with something like collecting like terms or expanding brackets or maybe solving equations. And I just feel it, it doesn't mean anything to students and they can get bogged down thinking that algebra is just a set of abstract rules that they can't really connect with and that's when it becomes dry and uninspiring to them. So wherever possible I, I always like to go down the, the magic route or, or the trick route trying to hook them in or inspire them with something like that and that's why I absolutely adore this collection of resources that has been kindly uploaded by Anthony Bradshaw and some of them you'll be familiar with um, from the past but I've never seen them just together in, in such a well-presented way. And they're absolutely superb. And I did this with my year sevens and they were loving every second of it. So let's take a look at it. It's a PowerPoint file and it looks like this, Magic 2. And it's a series, I think of, I think there's five of these, five, five activities just to inspire your students in algebra. So the first is a calendar trick and it works like this. Uh, you present students with a, with a calendar and you get them to uh, draw a three by three square that covers nine of the dates and always leaves one of the dates free in the middle. And if your students add up uh, the totals of the dates going around the outside and tell you the uh, the total, for example, in this case, 72, you can straight away tell them that that center number that they've left uncovered is nine. And now towards maths teachers, we can kind of see where this is going. But to students, this is an absolutely fascinating thing. And my year sevens couldn't get their head around what was going on here. So I got them to draw another box and call out the total and straight away I, I could tell them what was the number was in the center. And then I gave them 10 minutes just to play around with this themselves and, and could they make the connection? Could they see what was going on? And the look of wonder on their faces when a few of them were picking up on the trick, it was just amazing. And what's lovely about this resource is there's no mention of a letter anywhere at this point and there doesn't need to be. But then when students have started to get to the bottom of this trick, naturally they want to know why, what's going on so they can learn the secret, so they can test it out on their parents or their, or their friends at home. And that's when you can start to introduce the algebra, not as a set of rules that don't mean anything, but as a tool that explains why this mysterious puzzle works. And that kind of boxed off all our collecting like terms that we needed to do in a much more interesting way. And that's just one of them. Next, we move on to the spooky pyramid. Now, this is one of my favorite, as this one. Start off with any five consecutive numbers, um, and then just start adding them. Well, for, uh, the, and the next one above is the sum of those three numbers and so on. You can follow the instructions. But the absolute beauty of this is, that as soon as the uh, audience tells you what number they're going to start with, you can tell them the top number before they've even done all their adding up. And again, the students were absolutely loving this. And it's a much harder one to spot, but with a little bit of playing around, and as long as your students are up for a challenge, they can start to spot patterns in numbers. And then that's when you can start to, if you, if you feel it's appropriate, start to introduce the letters. And look what you're boxing off here. It's writing expressions, it's simplifying expressions, it's generalizing, absolutely brilliant stuff. There's loads of these. This is another absolute classic with conse consecutive sums that allow you to get to a, a, a massive total way before anybody else has done so. Uh, Math Genius. Now, this is a really tricky one, but if you get this right, this, this is really, really impressive. This kind of builds on the, uh, on the Fibonacci sequence where you, you ask for any two numbers and then you create a Fibonacci chain of them. And you do this 10 times, but it's absolutely amazing that you can get to the grand total before uh, anybody's had a chance to add, it, add them up. And I, I actually use this with my year nine class as well because this, this is a lot more complex, the algebra behind this. And it also uses a little multiplying by 11 trick as well on top of some algebra with, with two sets of variables. And as I say, uh, there's a final one here on roots, which is also uh, lovely about the differences between numbers and a bit of bid masses involved there as well. And it's just nice to have those presented there in a nice way like that. And the way I ran it with my year sevens, as I was mentioning, is I showed them the trick once and then I just gave them 10 minutes to play around with it in their groups, writing me down anything they found and we had a nice chat about it. 
and it even inspired them to go away and try and come up with some tricks of their own. So I just think it's an absolutely wonderful activity. And if you're thinking, wait a minute, why is this called Magic 2? Well, there's the sequel to it there. It's a kind of magic which has got a load of other wonderful problems in it. So a fantastic activity. And if you use it and you like the look of it, please give it a like on the blog. And maybe if you could even uh, pop a little review or a little explanation or description of what you did with it, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And I shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.